Hello, Inform Crows. I'm John from the Hot Informer, and today I'm going to tell you about how to effectively use animatronics in haunted attractions and how to get really good scares. So there are lots of ways to be really scary with animatronics, and animatronics can work hand in hand with actors. Actors can actually have the step pedal for a scare or a sound effect. They can actually step on that and activate that so they could activate a scare of an animatronic if you have it set it up that way. So it can be really effective and I really like animatronic scares. They can be very scary if all of a sudden you're going through this dark area like you're going through this dark catacomb, there's skeletons everywhere and all of a sudden a skeleton animatronic pops up right at you or you're in a mummy area and there's sarcophaguses around and it's dusty and you're walking through sand and it's really creepy and grungy and you see a whole bunch of sarcophaguses and some of them are closed and some of them are open it's all really grungy and then all of a sudden there's one that's open and then a mummy animatronic pops out from poison props i actually saw that mummy animatronic 13th floor chicago very startling with the strobe light that one pops out at you from the sarcophagus that would be amazing you can also have actors set up a scare. Recently, when I was at the Blood Prison, Ohio, in Mansfield, Ohio, the one scare actor was speaking in Spanish and referring to the animatronic in the corner from Poison Props, it was Absolution, as her grandmother and saying her abuela was loco. So I thought that was an interesting setup and it was a comedic thing because you're laughing at it. It's like, oh yeah, her grandmother's crazy, that's fun. And then it's the animatronic and it pops down and it's going crazy at you and screaming. So I thought that was an interesting concept of how they had that set up. I like that a lot. I really enjoy lots of different kinds of animatronic scares. I really like the drop panel scares where it's a bunch of portraits and you don't know which one's going to be real. And obviously the one that's a drop panel is the one that's sunken in. But that one drops and the animatronic will pop out whether it's a zombie or a crazy nun or a clown any kind of character you want for the scare and crazy kid all kinds of stuff so i really enjoy those drop down kind of scares those are a lot of fun i love seeing animatronic scares from the ceiling because you don't expect that especially if you have a really foggy area and you don't know what's happening and all of a sudden it appears that can be really startling i also really enjoy the new grabbers from gore galore i'll actually put in a clip of one of the grabbers that I got from the Transworld Haunt Show. I'll put that in this video after I talk about this. And I really like them because they are activated by a step pad and then they will lunge out really low at your feet and they will grab at your feet. So that's really cool. And that can also be a distraction for a scare actor in that room, for a creature in that room. Here's another one. This is the Rot Zombie Ankle Grabber. <laughs> They'll come after you and grab your ankles. Great startle scare. I really like the actor illusions that Gorgolore has as well. Like the Munchomatic where the actor looks like they're getting grinded up. And the more crazy this character acts, the more bad you feel for them. That's really cool. And I like the one where it looks like the giant saw blades cutting the person in half. So I really like those illusions. Those are really effective. Especially if you want that as a distraction. For your scene, I actually have seen at Field of Screams and the Torture scene where the person gets their head cut off on the other side of the hayride. So there's something happening for you. They actually have the saw illusion from Gorgolore going on. And I think that looks really neat. And of course I have to talk about the Actimatronics from Gorgolore. They have small Actimatronics and the normal ones. The small Actimatronics are just called small because they are much smaller than the bigger ones, but they still are pretty big. It's still a crazy big character that you can control. And I've seen effective uses of the Elian Actimatronic from Gorgolore. I actually saw that at 13 Floor Chicago used really well. And I also saw that same Actimatronic at Tear Behind the Walls in the experiment like 3D haunt years and years ago in a really trippy area where you walked up and there was all kinds of projections on this black wall and you didn't know what was happening and they were 3D so you had your 3D glasses on and it looked like it was popping out at you like equations and things and then that alien actimatronic with UV paint scheme on it 
popped out at you. So that was really neat. <laughs> So you can have all kinds of fun with these animatronics. You can have the classic style animatronic that is the actual scare, like the zombie hallway or the clown hallway. Those are really excellent where they come out at you. I'll have a clip of the clown hallway from Transworld that I filmed this year and it pops out and it's coming right at you so you can have your guests walk right through that and then the animatronics will come at you and it's very loud and intimidating especially if you set that up with a trippy experience already where you're going through and it could be entirely dark and then all of a sudden the zombie attack happens or the clown attack and you could set that up just with really cool set design and you could mess with them already you could have a curtain maze if you wanted to there's a whole bunch of curtains and the people have to find their way through the customers and they don't know what's happening you have to find your way through this curtain maze and then that will be leading to this claustrophobic hallway with the clown hallway attack and then the clown hallway attack is activated and those clown animatronics will come after your guests <laughs> They've got lots of different clown animatronics. All of them are going off, coming at you. Clown hallway attack. I'm really excited to see animatronics at Haunted Attractions again this fall. I can't wait to see everything they have to offer and to see what kind of scares and scenes that these Haunted Attractions will build with these animatronics to enhance the scene and make it scarier and more intense for customers. And if that is not the scare itself, if that's just a distraction for the scene, then the actor will do the scare for the scene. Or if they have the animatronics from Gorgalore or the actor illusions all that great stuff I can't wait to see how they effectively use it this haunt season I mainly talked about poison props and Gorgalore in this video but there are other animatronic companies out there you can definitely check out the hazard room and there's also a scare factory so there's lots of different companies out there that make really interesting animatronics that will work in your haunt attraction so definitely check them out I'll have the links to everything I talked about below and definitely check out my coverage of the Transworld Haunt Show where I do an entire video showing all the new animatronics from Poison Props. So that's a real fun video and thank you to everyone that has watched that video. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That was the Haunt Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below and tell me about what cool scares you've seen with animatronics whether it's an actor animatronic from Gore Galore or just a classic animatronic from like Poison Props tell me about your experiences with animatronic scares in the comments below and until next time happy hauntings